little blurry. We're a little blurry. Why are we blurry? We are live. Good after. Good morning. Right, good, yeah. morning. good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm good so morning. sorry. We are running behind. Yeah. Um, we were um, had a little bit of a busy morning. Um, I um, mentioned in the description that we called the vet this morning about Myra. Um, we woke up and so she's acting fine. Um, her temperature is good. We took her temperature a little early um, because of what happened. Um, but her temperature is good. It's 100.3. Um, and so, you know, she doesn't have a fever or anything. But um, it was just really odd because we woke up and on the floor was <gasps> like thought. birth fluids. It was like yeah. the that, um, not like clear, but like the like placenta colored. Yeah. And it smells like birth. And so we were really concerned that, like, maybe a puppy passed. Um, we called the vet. Um, I wish we had an ultrasound machine. <laughs> Sorry, we just got puppies. <laughs> <laughs> we called the vet, um, and he doesn't necessarily want to see her. He said that um, oh, he thinks geez. labor just might be approaching. Um, and, Stop. Stop. you know, if it is a, a puppy health status thing we'll kind of find out when she delivers Five, yeah um hey, Mocha. and so we did we um hey, Moon. we've noticed that we haven't really felt puppies kick very much and so we did um kind of hold her in place and make sure that we could feel kicking and so we um okay. kind of held on to her tight and made her really relax so that we could feel her belly and try to palpate as many puppies as we could um, and so we did find a lot of movement. So we've, we've got movement, um, oh, a lot. on, yeah, not a lot, uh, but like minutes. much more than we had. Yeah. Um, so. they were kicking like successively, you know, I feel <laughs> one kick over here and then there would be another one over here. Um, I think she just doesn't have as big of a litter. It's kind of reminding me of when we had pom pom and or pom pom's oh, first, first, litter. first litter where she, I, um, two, she, three. Yeah, it was three puppies, and she, um, like, as her due date approached, we were like, you know, is she a week behind? Because her belly just wasn't expanding as quickly, um, and she just wasn't as big as we were used to. And it's kind of how Myra is. She's not, she's still growing, but she's not growing as fast as usual. Um, but she's still, like, she's losing her belly fur, and her pregnancy is still progressing as it should. Um and so we're wondering if maybe hey, she's buddy. just got a few in there. Um, and um, she's got probably labor coming soon. I imagine once her temp drops, um, she'll have them pretty quickly. But she's due Thursday. So she's due in three, day, three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three days. Um, and so, and once her temp drops, that's no, an no, eight no, to no. 12 hour heads up. Jeez, so. Why did you um, well, stinker. And that's why we will, we take them in the evening too, usually over in our bedroom. But um, oh. we'll get it again this evening. And um, Palms actually, when Palm had her first litter, we took her temperature in the morning, and it was like one oh one, you know, normal temp. And she went into labor at like three o'clock in the afternoon. And so we retook her temperature because we didn't believe it. And so we retook her temperature, and then her temperature was like ninety eight four. But do you remember that? I do. Where it was and, like. She had to be. Like, she can't be having puppies right she now. She can't be having puppies right now. Oh my god, she is having puppies. She's right having now. puppies. Hi, silly You're puppy. Bella, gentle. This little girl. Let me say good morning to everybody. Hi. Good morning, little um, girl. The puppies are doing really, really, really well. Oh, they careful. Hogan is using the potty tray. He actually like seeks it out. He's doing great. Um, and Bradley had a, a full night with him where he um, no accidents, and then he used the potty tray in the morning. He was actually he um, got up and was whining. He, yeah, he was whining at the tray, but he because he didn't he doesn't know how to use stairs yet, and so he was oh, oh. whining at the tray. And so Bradley went over and put him down in the tray, and um, he went potty and poop. Yeah. So um, he's he's a really good boy. Hey, hey, you, um, you be nice. And you be nice. This definitely. morning when we brought, um, be nice so Heidi spent the night with Heidi and Moonlight spent the night with. Um, our girls. mom's in yeah. here in the laundry room. The big mama. Rather than a puppy pen. And we're, our, the idea is that, um, you know, the other moms, they use the tray all throughout the night. So usually every morning we wake up and there'll be poops in the tray. 
Hoping and so um, we're hoping know. that that gives them they are able to watch the other moms and learn because I mean that's that's how we potty trained um, Remy. We just we didn't even really tr we just yeah. put her with the other dogs and her. she picked it up. Yeah, we just put her with the other dogs and she just started. She was like, "Oh, that's what you do. Oh, okay, cool." And then Myra just needed gentle a little bit Bella, of help. Gentle Bella, gentle. Hey, you gentle. Um, oh, let me say um, good morning say to good everybody. Night, everybody. <laughs> Oh, doggy doggies. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning, Letty. Good morning, Amelia yeah. Travels. Yeah. Chris and the family are on. Oh, there. hey, Chris. Hey, Atkins. Paula, Paula and Sunshine, good morning. Paula has been praying for you guys. Uh, we have a notification every single morning with a prayer from Paula. It's been so sweet. <laughs> yes. You guys. Thank are, you for all your prayers, Paula. Yes. Well, thank you all for all your prayers for Amelia and Elizabeth. Will Hi, Jan. Get the update too. Hi. Hi there, Linda. What are you doing? <laughs> pom -pom. Hi, Cynthia you have a and Sue. Tongue. Good morning, Shelly. Dad, mm -hmm. this one was my favorite. Good morning, Kathy and Beth. Oh, she did bite me. Oh. I did say you morning, say no Amber. teeth. You say no teeth. Good morning, no Diana. And nah. Kelly. No teeth. And oh, the other one's name is escaping me. Brenda. Rest Kelly and Brenda and Enrico. Enrico. So wow. Hi, Nisha. Oh. Yeah, I Bella, apologize sit up. for um Bella. Bella, sit I up. apologize for running behind. You got stuff in your eye, baby. Um, you have let's stuff. See if in we your have eye. a new update from Chris. I think that there we is. do. We do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just talked to her main vet. This one's pretty long. I just talked to her main vet. Amelia is once again very weak. Instead of wagging her tail when someone comes in. She just lifts it off the ground a little bit. Oh. She's eating enough that they don't have to feed her IV, but they are keeping a very close eye on it. And if anything changes, they have everything in place to start that back up immediately. Ah! I'm going to need a puppy for this one. Um, on Friday, they put everything in on her right side in the emergency room. Oh. So when they did the drainage oh. tube, they oh. also put that on the right side. Come on. That side is not producing as much fluid anymore. They need to start pulling fluid and cleaning from the left side. They're going to do one more check tomorrow to see things how things are before putting another tube in. Ugh. Her red blood cell count is also at a dangerous level. 13%, although I didn't ask what that meant in detail. Um, she said that, Amelia, that for Amelia to keep fighting, she is going to need a transfusion. Oh a donor dog has already been found, and I'll be going in tomorrow morning so they can do that. She once again cautioned against too much hope. Obviously, it sounds great that she is eating and that the liquid on the right side is clearing up, but inflammatory blood values are still way too high, and the liquid on the left side is still very pus-filled. The, the culture that they are doing to find the perfect antibiotic is also not going to be done for another, another several days still. Oh, so you asked about that. Oh, I'm so glad. Amelia is fighting for every hour that she has. It takes a while to get cultures back. We are doing everything that we can to tip the scales in her favor, but the vet still said that they would completely understand if we didn't want to continue treatment since the treatment is not showing the improvements that it should. Mm. She would, I, I just wish they could get the right antibiotic. If they could like, if they could kick this infection, I feel like that they could just right. kick the infection. She could heal. Sorry. I'll go ahead. Um, Bella, stop. Uh, Bella. She would recommend doing the blood transfusion and continuing as they have been doing it this weekend. But it is still critical enough that if we wanted to throw in the towel, they would understand. We simply can't do that to her. As long as she continues to fight, so will we. Aww. She's such a strong little girl. She is. She's in addition to the, everything that the vets are doing, Anya has also been talking to an alternative medicine specialist. Good idea. Mm. I don't have the details about it, but there's something that she recommended giving to Amelia to give her more energy and help her replenish her red blood cells. The vet said it can't hurt anything, and if it actually helps, then she is all for it. This treatment we are just paying out of pocket since it involves a heavy dose of faith, and not everyone agrees with these types of treatments. 
I, we are not judging. We believe we are the very same yep. as you. Just anything that could have even like the least, like the potential to help her, try yeah. it. Give it um, a shot. What well, can it hurt? Yeah, it can't hurt. And yeah, as long as the vet says it can't hurt. Yeah, um, yeah we, I, I don't think anybody is going to judge you guys for that. Uh, tomorrow when I go with the donor dog for the transu transfusion, I will also get an update on the bills. We were at 7,834, um, is that euros before this weekend? Is it an E? Yeah, just euros. Um, and the estimated costs for this weekend were between 3,000 and 4,000. We really appreciate all the help everyone has been giving. It really does mean the world to us. We love the fact that we can show the kids that strangers can help strangers in a time of need. Please keep those fingers crossed as tightly as you can and keep the good vibes flowing. Amelia, Amelia still needs all the help she can get. Wow. Come on, Amelia. You can do this, Amelia. Amelia. Kick that. Yeah. Like, if she can hang on until they can get the culture the cultures back. back. Right. I'm so happy that you were, you told them that. I didn't realize that you had like said I, something to them about well, it. I mentioned it yesterday. I oh, wish yeah. I thought to say something sooner. Will you stop eating my pants? Oh, I am. Yeah, I know. She's. Like, I can't believe though that she's eating. Like I even know. as weak as she is, that she's eating. It's like she's trying to show you guys that she's. She's like, I'm still here, guys. She's like, yeah, don't, don't give up on me. Oh, Amelia. Oh. I'm gonna be thinking about her a lot while I'm on my drive. I know. Drew's gonna be um. Drew uh, is going to the airport like in the middle of the night tonight. Yeah. Um, he's there's a truck in Oregon that we're we're getting. He knows he can tell you yeah, more about just, it, yeah, but he's he's gonna fly in and drive pick back. it up and he's gonna drive it back, but it's gonna quite a drive back. Yeah, it's gonna be quite the drive. But I will um wanna have my my Airbuds or my AirPods. So, uh, Chris, if you guys need to the chat, um, I will I will be available. Oh, good idea. So, um, we will be thinking about you very much. But he won't be back until like I'm gonna try and Wednesday yeah. afternoon. Yeah, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hi. All right, all right, all right. Goodness, look at you. Just make and, sure you don't get pulled over because I don't want to see a body cam of you on YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm not going to be going fast. You, you know, these this truck, it doesn't get up going real fast. Okay. Well, just, just like you know, make sure you've got insurance and. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's insurance and registration. Like, you've just got to get indeed. all that squared away before you take off. Indeed. Arr, 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 arr. Look at you, you silly dog. They, these two, they love ropes. And I took a video of them outside this morning. They, um, they found an old grimy rope. Oh, yeah, one of those they, gross they, ones, ones outside. Huge. And then That's Hogan so. went and found a stick that was like this long and was like this big around. And he was dragging it around? No, he had it in the very middle of his mouth. What? Was, yep, carrying it around. My goodness, Hogan, you're so strong. What a strong puppy boy. I need to get some video and send some videos and photos to the breeder because she's. She'll, I think she'll be so happy to see yeah. Moon so happy. How cute. How cute, how cute. You're and just so cute. Big piece of farm. She's so energetic. And Moon is also like pretty... She's a pretty dominant personality. She's got a very, very strong personality. But she, what's, what I think is crazy is that when we bring her into the bedroom and she just, she like, she knows yeah. like, okay, hey, we're, we're not playing and screwing around now. It's relaxing time. She's so good about that. Yeah. She's very good about, about relaxing. What? what she'll be you, like being crazy in here too. And she'll be barking and she'll be loud. And we come in all like yesterday, I potty, I put each of them in the tray. Um, and then. Um, brought Moon with us to, into the bedroom, and she went from being like playful and energetic to just she just sleeps in his lap. And she climbs into his lap and goes to sleep. Easy, 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 you two. Don't be eating each other's snouts. Um, I'm glad we have so yeah. many ropes. 
we can't wait to hear an update, Chris, about you know, hopefully the culture comes back soon and uh, the transfusion, how that goes. Hopefully and that will probably give her a little more energy um, just because that yeah. that um, that blood count is depleting her energy. So um, that what's, low energy is kind of expected when they need blood. What's, what causes the low red blood cells? Is it the infection? Um it's usually some kind of bleeding. You usually have to bleed, so it's hard to say. I don't know if she how much she bled during the procedures. Oh. Oh, I I guess I, I, it's just could that be part of the problem? And is like that maybe it's not replenishing like it should be. Her oh, her bone marrow is not making enough red blood cells. I don't think her bone marrow is like also got a problem. I just think that it's just all the stuff she's got going on. She's not. She's just that. Uh, her body. She's is, not healing as quickly as. Her body is spread thin. Yeah, it's spread very thin. But like without, not knowing exactly what's going on, mm. it's it's hard to say. Well, man, I hope that her transfusion goes well. Yeah. Hi, buddy. That's just. I mean, they're just getting blood from one dog and yeah. putting it. Okay. Well, they'll they'll clean it. Like, they'll go right. through a filter. Man, I didn't realize that that was a thing. Like, you know, the dogs get a blood transfusion. I mean, I guess I never really thought. I didn't of... realize that they would do it like living dog to dog. Yeah, that's that's because when um, whenever I've gone to our vet's um, clinic, yeah. they just have I've, like when we've gone into the back, bags, they, they have, have blood like in refrigerators. Bags so. of dog blood. Yeah. Do they have doggy blood drives? <laughs> I don't. I don't know how they do it. Like I'm. Just, yeah, that's what I'm curious that's about. We should look yeah, look at the, yeah, we've got all these dogs. Can they donate some blood? <laughs> some little doggy blood drive for Amelia. Oh my goodness, you are going to be such a handsome boy. Look at this back of her neck. I know. So she's beautiful. very symmetrical. Yeah, she's so symmetrical. You're just so pretty. Yes, you. Oh, she's falling asleep in my hands like this. She always. Whenever we come in, or like when I took them outside this morning, she just should when she spots you, she runs like full speed and just launches herself into your center mass. <laughs> and so, like if you're crouched, she'll launch herself like up into here, and if you're standing, she'll launch herself up right in your crotch. <laughs> what are you? Is there? No, you don't want to eat that. Ooh. You're oh. so stinking cute. I want to get going though so I can go. Okay. Do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You guys aren't going. You know what? Um, you know what? Let me, I'm going to bring the boys in and then I'll let these ladies out before okay. I go. No, no. Negative. You're, actually, you'll stay inside and we'll. I'll bring the boys in here to play. Oh, okay. You guys want to play with, with the boys? Mm -hmm. Stay inside and play with the boys. Hi, Come stay here. Get out of there. Come on, boys. Come on. Come stay here. Come on. Stay here. You guys stay in this time, and then you play with the boys. Matt, come back here. I know oh. you guys probably want to go outside, but Macchiato, Macchiato, come here. Come on, buddy. Macchiato, oh, come on. To go outside. Oh boy, they're excited. Come on, come on. they're come excited. Here. Don't worry, mom's gonna come get you. Huh? Are you giving me a kiss? You stay here. You stay here. You stay here. You stay here. Hey, 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 hey,
bring the boys in so that the puppies can play with the boys. All right, puppies, you want to play with the boys? You want to play with the boys? All right, here they come. Are you up? Oh, you're bringing them out. Thank you. Come on, boys. Rio, macchiato. Rio. Come on. Rio, come on. That's boy. Rio. Good boy. Now watch this. You gotta, you gotta watch that? this. You gotta see this. Oh, jeez. Macchiato is just such a, he's just a natural good, dog parent. Yeah. He's, he could be a dog mom. Like he could he just could be. stand in for mom. He's a good he uh, doggy dad. He is. He really he's is. He's a good dog daddy. Or da and Rio is, I dog. want Rio to kind of like take it up from him. Yeah. Because Spike's not so much. Spike, Spike is Spike like. Spike is uh, terrified of the puppies. Spike's like puppies. Ugh. He'll be okay with one, but as soon as there's more than like two he gets he trembles he's so scared of little puppies it's really it's really weird i'm so con or I'm, I'm curious if it's like a he's afraid of hurting them or he's afraid of i mean it seems to me like he's just afraid of the number of them huh because when it's just one he's fine he'll, so... he'll play with them he'll sniff them but whenever he's outnumbered yeah it's when he's what you think boys Rio, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You are. Uh, who piddled? Who made a piddle? Um, how big is it? A Maybe tiny little one. Oh, is it tiny? That's usually Hogan. Because right he lets out just like a few drops at a time. That's why I think that they're really used to the doggy door. Oh, the thing. She, yeah. They're just used to hopping out. And... Their breeder has a doggy door where they can just go outside and go potty. And so... Um, he just went out, they said he used it a lot. <laughs> um, and so, but I think actually that's why he is picking up the tray so easily because he likes to go outside so much that the tray with being pine pellets, it's attracting him for pottying and pooping. Um, even Heidi, she is attracted to it. Um, and she'll use it. It's just a matter of like reminding her to, to care. <laughs> she needs, just needs to learn to. To want to use it. I think she would be perfectly content going potty inside, outside, wherever. She is really, really, really chill. Like, she's not opposed to using it. So we just gotta... Um, the one thing about, like, um, a doggy door is that, um, at least when they're young like this, we, it doesn't really teach them to, like, be able to hold their pee and hold it until they get to where they can use it because it's like as soon as they go, they just run outside and they go. Um, and same with like piddle pads. Um, or when breeders just kind of let the puppies just kind of go in the pen um, and then clean them up for you before they send them home. Um, and so that's one reason that we like using the tray because we can help teach them to, we can help ladder train them, teach them to hold on to it until we get back to the tray. Like when we take them to the living room to play, or when we take them out into the dining room, when we start the live stream in the morning, when they're like closer to this age, um, um, it helps them learn how to how to hold it. And they've got sphincter control, so um, these guys they're definitely old enough to learn how to hold it. I think that they just haven't had to. And so um, Hogan is doing a pretty good job though of picking it up. Hmm. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. Macchiato, what are you doing? Where's the boys? I thought they would want to play. They're right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. they want food. Yeah. We need to bring some more ropes out here because they love ropes. Hi, Rio. Who's a good boy? Who is a good Rio dog? Yeah, you're a good boy. You too, Mike. 
Nice. Mmm, man. I love oh. these, these lightly salted ones. I think they're so huh. much better. Hmm. I'll have to try them. You're hungry. What would you like? You want a bacon sandwich? Ooh, on a sweet roll? Hi, Rio. You are such a good dog. Was that a yes, Bella? Um, no. Mm hmm Oh, you would like us to put some food on a tray? Yeah. That's a good idea. We can do that. Oh, 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 oh you'll look after the puppies? Uh -huh. Good idea. Good idea. Do you want a, do you want a Lunchable? Oh, well, if you eat a Lunchable, then you got to eat it yeah, at the table. Well, then we can do a bacon sandwich on a Hawaiian roll, and you can take that. Do you that. want lunch soup? Oh, yeah. I need a bag flip. Hmm? No, not a jump bag flip. I just rolled on that. You just did a back flip with this? She's always hanging on that yesterday. What? Whoa! <laughs> she just did the thing that, like, when I I'm know, holding her. I know. Wow, Bella, <laughs> you are a strong monkey. You've been having words about not well, doing that. Because oh, yeah, the kitchen is not a, a gymnastics <laughs> floor. <laughs> you did that on the tall bed. Oh my goodness, Bella. That is. Any oh man. Here. That's crazy, Bella. Okay, let's not keep doing that. Let's we can go. we can start the proper lessons with the proper padding and. Oh my goodness, Bella! You are very strong. Do you want to start dance or gymnastics? Yeah. Start both. <laughs> gymnastics has more of the bars that you can do that on, um, and dance is is more dancing to songs. Well, I have to practice. Well, yeah, you would practice. Yeah, you'd be practicing a lot. There's a lot of practice. Wait, I can't see Avery there. It went. Avery, well, it depends where you went. Avery goes to dance. Really? Well, maybe we can find out where she goes. Do you know? Can yeah, do you know where she goes? goes? Macchiato, what are you doing? Come back, Macchiato, come here. That's my fault. Wait, what? Oh. That's my fault. <laughs> He's in the dining room. Hmm. Please be careful, Bella. I don't want anybody getting kicked. Yeah, Bella. Okay, hey, listen. Not, not when the, the puppies dogs. are in there. You yeah. should take Bella. This and is the we last one. Have feet All right, up good. on the. All right, good job. That's the last one because there's puppies in here. We don't want you doing a backflip onto a puppy. Who's a good boy? Boys, you want to go, or do you want me to bring the girls in and just leave the boys? Do one boy at a time. With the girls? No, oh, why don't just... we, actually, why don't we, we'll put Macchiato, don't do that. let's leave Rio so that he and Vienna can hang out. Okay, Macchiato, come on, buddy. And then next time good we'll boys. do Macchiato so that he can see Myra, because I'm sure he would love to see Myra. Yeah, good puppies, good boys. Aren't Who's they good fantastic? You guys are being, oh, jeez, nice. Yeah, Sneak you're attack. Good boy. Sneak attack, sneak attack. You're feeling skinny too, buddy. This is, this are giving you more food too. What's up, Rio? You, though, you feel like a hunk of chunk of bigger dog. <laughs> He's a hunk of chunk of handsome He's, dog. Yeah, a hunk of chunk of handsome dog. He's a hunk of chunk of bird. All right. Come on, Macchiato. You come with me. Come here, Macchiato. I know. You love it in here, bud. I see. Yeah. Be very careful. Bella, get your face and out we'll, off and that with bed. And the girls coming out of Pete, we can open up the, the doggy door. The doggy bathroom door. Yeah. No, like, don't do that. Don't push them but back. Then we can have them all in here because there'll be more room. Yeah. And if we open that up. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really cool, actually. That'd I be really want to open it up. That would be a good amount of space. Bella, Bella, you need to be gentle, sweetie. Well, I understand, but they're still just little babies. We a lot of babies we still have at this age before they've gone home to their moms and their, their families. Ooh, you want some with the shells or without the shells? Some 
Oh, the okay. I'll give you a little shelling bowl. Oh, I'm going to get some candy. <laughs> She wants some with the shells and some without. Oh, really? Try. You should try some without. Um, when you go to Sam's Club, can you get two boxes of wafers? Well, I thought that you were going to come with me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go with to make sure you got two boxes of papers. <laughs> I mean, I was just gonna go for uh, cat litter and cat food. I know, yeah. <laughs> but but we, um, but we need wafers. For coffee. Well, and the kids would like more of those cookies. Oh, um, cookies. The dump cookie, the space. The um. Oh, the the. The fudge strip. The fudge strip ones. What's up? Are you just following me around? She's she, look at this. Yeah, I think she's a man's dog. I think so too. Try to buy those. Oh yeah. They have like less than half the salt. Of yeah, originals. it's not like you don't need chapstick after eating three mm -hmm. of them. Dog. Um. They're so playful too. I know. So playful with one another. I don't even remember Paris and Pom Pom being this much fun when we yeah. brought them home. Yes, you should go puppies. It's okay. Would you, we are happy for you. So she's like, oh, were we being in trouble? <laughs> or or who, were we being bad? Is that too much? You good girl. Yeah, good girl, Heidi. Good, girl. good puppies. Oh, you're a good boy, Rio. And I like that he's kind of small, too. And so we can mate him to Remy. And, mm. you know, that'll bring the size of her puppies down. Down a little bit, yeah. Them out. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah, she won't have such a difficult time yeah oh yeah she does have a tough time yeah. oh but yes the kids are probably like the space dunk cookies too i actually saw them at a gas station they do come in their own package oh they do yeah hmm the space dunks so i almost got them but they were really expensive ah do you want any of these no. no? I need a drink, right? You need a drink? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we also need to get more snacks. Who's missing? That's fine. Do you want Pringles? Remy! Come on! Do you want red, orange, or green? Yeah. Come on. Come on, dogs. Orange? Come on, girls. Let's go. Oh, okay. Come on, girls. Remy dog. Where's the Remy dog? Okay. Is there a doggy up here? Remy. Is there a doggy up here? Okay, so this is your this is your little shelling bowl for your shells that you use. Mom? And then we'll put it. Yeah, Mom, open I, I have to put Doggies. I, I like the shells so much. Well, you don't eat them, okay? You don't eat the shells. Okay. You need me to open it here. Let me open your soda. Mom, you have to carry it. Do you want a straw? What? Mom, you have to oh, carry okay. that because there's a lot of the Hey, Robin. Be nice to Rio. Hey, bub. Hogan went poop in the potty tray. Yay! Bella! Well, if she has an accident, we let me know, and then I can I can take her over to the tray. Um, I have a bacon sandwich on a sweet roll. Do we have mangoes? No, we do not. Oh, 
I'm gonna see if we have any yogurt. Oh yeah! We do have yogurt. Please don't pick her. I have two in my drawer. I only have one. I have one. Hey, stop arguing, Bella. I Bella, don't yell at him just Look, because. I have one. Yeah, but I didn't take it because I had two in here. And Bella, relax. Oh, it's okay. No, Bella, he did not take yours. Dad filled your drawer. If you don't like what's in your drawer, Bella, talk to Dad about it. Who's a good boy, Rio? We have Rio in here. What's that? Oh, baby teeth. No. Our moms are all um, out of heat, yeah. so yeah, we can. Oh, right. We just want to make sure because yeah, so we just want to supervise. No, Myra's just. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. Technically, Myra's still in heat. Remy. But she can't get more pregnant. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'll give you some little chew ropes because he loves chew ropes, little tug ropes. And so I'll give you some of those. To, to give him when he's moonlight being come moon. chewy. Mooney. Come here, Mooney, Mooney. Come here, Mooney, Mooney, baby. Oh, good girl. She responds to moonlight real quick. Good girl, Mooney. You take off your camera. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yep. Bella, we hey, listen. Well, let's create more water bottles so that we don't have to yell at them. Because I don't when we just shout at them, it, it doesn't they, they learn to ignore us. And so if you have the squirt bottle. I know. I don't know why you did. It's well, we can't use it. Um, what happened to the? Oh, here it is. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Patty. How are you? Oh, look at all those. I'm gonna put one right here that's like easy for yeah. We should do what um like health clinics do with their pens and take a piece of yarn and tie it down. Yeah, it's, yeah actually that's not a bad idea. So that like there's like little that's spray stations. Yeah, it's tied to that one right there. 
hey Bella, so if the dogs are barking, I'm gonna we're trying to keep the spray bottle right here so that um, it doesn't hurt them. We don't have to yell at them, but all it does is makes them go, oh whoa, that's water, and so they stop and then they um, it gets their attention, and it works really really well. They stop a lot of times. We don't even have to spray it. <laughs> all we have to do is show it to them and they stop. Paris, this is what you look like when you were a baby. <laughs> you don't like the puppies. You've got 12 days of normal school. Wow. The rest is IR testing and science. Oh, she's outside? Yeah, she's outside. Good girl, Remy. Good girl, Remy. Um, as soon as we get back from we have state testing. Oh and yeah, I think yeah, that's how it goes every year. Yeah, it's gonna be gone on for like two weeks, maybe three. Then we have the no, Rio, the time has passed. Wow. He's a little hopeful with Remy. But then we have the Hi, sweet baby. Celebration. I don't want to do that because it's like this tournament between students and students. Oh, that's. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it doesn't sound like something you'd want to do. Rio is loving this buffet of women. <laughs> he's just, he's taking his turn with each lady, giving them a nice up and down, checking everybody out. Daisy! I hate when you put your tongue in my mouth. Stop. You're a good girl. Dang, Missy. Like, Remy's trying to clean herself, and Jeez. Missy. <laughs> Maybe it's like, okay, Rio is sniffing you. We need to clean you up a little bit more. You must be a little right for me to uh, get this. <laughs> right, it's Rio. So gross. I know. It's. <laughs> Yeah, I double checked Mocha and she's good too. We had a lot of dogs in heat. Like it just it was never ending. And but at least luckily since we had so many at the same time, now we can actually breathe a little bit and remember what it's like to have the boys around. Yeah. Have the boys in, huh? Rio, Mr. Rio. Especially when we open up the dining room. Well, oh, it's gonna be so nice. I know, and look at how precious he is. Okay, love you. I will see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you're on your way. So I can... He's heading out for a haircut, and then I'm gonna meet him so that we can um, take care of some stuff at the bank for the business, and then um, we're gonna go to Sam's Club to pick up some food. Should I? Um, wait, would we be able to get the papers that I? I come. 
What? What are you talking about? For the school. Oh. Um. We need the problem is that we need you here to watch Bella. Um, but let's. I should have done that. We should have done that when I went to the bank last week to get cash for puppies. Um, let's do that. Um, this week after school, like the original plan, I'll just pick you up and we'll just go straight, straight there. Uh, I have them in my purse. Can't be picked up from school early. Well, you can. Well, I know, but I know you have to be. Yeah. Hi, I'll be back. All right. I'll see you soon. Oh, I'm gonna look at the YouTube settings and see if we can um, crop the videos and. Oh, okay. Like we we're talking about. This is so odd right here. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Oh, sh I could do. Aw, Beth, I'm so glad that you love love um, Mr. Desi so much. He's such a good boy. I was just thinking about him the other day. May Letty says hello. Oh, hi, Uh, okay, there's something I want to check on here. Okay, so it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right, Rio. You don't get to cause. Hey, we're going to put Rio back because he's, Remy's growling at him and he's not backing down. Can so you take him in? Thanks. Hey, did you put your microphone on the charger? I did. Thank you. Look how cute you are. You're a baby boy, Paris. Yeah, he's like you. Nobody could be just like you, though. He looks, he looks just like one of her puppies. Yeah, I think he looks more like her, though, than even one of her puppies. Like, because even his markings are similar. They seem to have a very similar personality. Yeah, yeah and I feel like her blaze was only like a tiny <laughs> bit smaller. <laughs> Dad's making more spray bottles so that we can have like spray bottle stations. Mm -hmm. One of them is going to be right here, just so you know. I know, isn't he? Oh, he's so sweet. He's picking up potty training so fast. If only the other side of his face had the same, doesn't come down as far. I guess it comes down a little bit. Only he had a donut nose. Look at that. He really needs a little bit of work. Yeah, he's very mellow. Paris was not quite like that. I had to really yeah, you had to, you had to really teach her. Heidi's available for the loving. She's grown on me a lot, Miss Heidi. I'm so used to Paris being automatically like oh. super submissive but whatever i pick up a dog and they're all stiff 
surprise. Yeah. Like Missy. You're such a good girl. You are, you are. Oh my goodness. And so she's gonna, we're gonna breed her with um, Rio for our all blood litters. They're gonna be our all blood couple. Oh my god, the cats, they're screaming at us. Um, yeah, but so then we'll. Because when we have macchiato fathering all the litters, we end up, even with blunt moms, we end up with very few blunt puppies. And so she's going to, I think we'll have her be like our blunt mom that has just blunt She's going to use some cream cheese. I know, and this is all grown out and long. Yeah. And this will all be like a salad across. It'll be kind of like Amelia's. Yeah. I feel like she's going to look different than our other moms. She's got Remy's sort of face shape when Remy was a puppy. Remy had a very... Do you uh, know that sort of look I was talking about that our puppies have? Mm, not quite. I think the look that you're describing, I think, is kind of like the old look. Those are like Missy Spike puppies. There's a girl. Let's get a little dot right there. Daisy's little, little <laughs> mark that goes up her nose. <laughs> she kind of looks like Sno like a Snoopy dog. Yeah, she does. She's got kind of a big nose. Like the all the white makes it look kind of big. Oh, you're so sweet. Their mom and dad are so pretty. Their mom and dad look like um, their coats, their backs are just completely chestnut. And their fur is like all the way down to the ground. Do you ever look, um, look at pictures of Cavaliers and then see some that look exactly like one of our dogs? Um, I guess sometimes. Sometimes I'll see one that looks like, like Missy or... I've seen one that looked exactly like Paris. Oh, yeah. On, or almost exactly. Daisy, I haven't Except traded you in, one. goof. I still sleep with you at night. I don't bring puppies into bed. I'm not cheating on you. You're still my number one. <laughs> Paris, Paris, Paris you're my one. number two. <laughs> you silly girl. Paris has such a beautiful face. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy, you have a spazzy face. You spaz, you spaz, you spaz. No, stop. Look at how sweet Paris is being, Daisy. Can you be like that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Missy. I'm excited for you to be Grandma Missy. The grandma of the house. I think you're the one that when retirement comes, we're going to keep you just because of the face of the Red Barn Cavaliers. The OG. I want to keep Missy and have her be grandma to the puppies. I feel like if we were to rehome her, she would be really, really, really lost not having her like pack to take care of. I was you know. Joking with dad earlier and, and we were talking about um Missy when she, when she was done having litters. Mm -hmm. Um how the pack needs her. Yeah. If she were to just like suddenly yeah, leave. We, yeah, I guess they would be just as lost as she would be. Robin would be thrilled. Oh man, Robin and Daisy would be in such a they would be duking it out for who got top dog. I don't Missy, know if we'd ever be able to resolve it. How much older is Missy and Spike? Um, one year. Uh -oh. Missy's five. So 
Come that time when she's pretty old. I'll be. Yeah, Spike will be right behind her. That makes me so sad. I know, I can't believe she's five already. I know. That's why it's like kind of weird to think about like we thought the next puppy we were gonna be getting was gonna like build and instead we're already looking at retirement, so it's just a matter of finding successors. Really? Yes. Are you looking at retirement? Missy. Just oh got not us, no, not us. <laughs> I was gonna say. No, let me see. She's gonna, we'll have a litter this summer and then she'll have a litter probably next summer and then we'll spay her. She put the microphone up to the door. Oh. Oh, Daisy, do you wanna? No, do, no, Bella's eating. That's probably why you wanna go out there. Hi, Vienna. Yeah, you too. I know. I'm on to you. <laughs> Hi, Paris. <laughs> she always does you? that to me when I'm heading it every dog. <laughs> You're such a good dog, Paris. You too, Myra. I hope your babies are doing okay. We need to get an ultrasound machine so we can just check ourselves. She had, like, birth fluid on the floor. Oh, she did? Yeah, I called the vet. And that? this morning. But it was, like, old. Like, not old, but it was, like, from during the night. Like, it was already, it was, like, drying up already. But um and so like then we were talking about how we hadn't really felt puppies be kicking and so i felt her i like sat down and really like felt for them and kind of pushed them around and so i did start feeling them kick so we do have moving puppies um but i called the vet and he was actually out on a farm call and so um she said she'd call me back and she called back about an hour later and said that um that he just thinks that she's getting close because she doesn't have a fever or anything he thinks she's just getting close and that like even if there was um like an issue it's kind of too early to really do anything other than wait right now so and as long as she's acting fine that's the other thing is she's acting fine she's not she's not acting like she's in distress because we were worried like did she deliver a puppy and like a puppy that wasn't well and But she doesn't look like or act like she'd have a puppy. So I think she just has a smaller litter. Remember Pom's first litter? How it was like, it almost seemed like she, like our due date was wrong. I think you even asked us if our due date was wrong. And and then even that morning, her temperature was normal. And when she was acting like she was going into labor, we were like, um, her temperature is normal. She can't possibly be going into labor. And then we reached her temperature and it dropped to 98.4. Three o'clock in the afternoon. What is your deal? Stop. Stop, Daisy. No, no, do not jump. No jumping. Yes, you sit. Good girl. Good sit. No, I, I, not. Nah. It's all bad. Hi, Myra. I know, Myra's been taking your place in bed next to me. You've been letting her, too. Wow. That's impressive. You've been so generous. You're a good girl, Myra Dog. Hi, Doodle. <laughs> I wish they always stayed the same size as those puppies right over there. I know. Like the new puppies. Yeah. Or like that size. That size would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be so pretty when she's grown up. Right now, she's so she's past that cute, fluffy eight week stage and she's at that like wonky growth spurt stage. And so we're not going to see. I should ask for her eight week pictures to see how she looked on, on like go home day. Because now she's in that, like, she's getting kind of leggy and her head's kind of a in a funny proportion to her body. 
and her ears haven't grown out yet, so it makes her look even leggier. Look at her laying on Robin. I couldn't believe Carter remembered Robin's fur. Did you hear that? When Carter was like, um, Heidi's fur is a lot like Robin's when Robin was a puppy. Oh. And he's right, it, it is. Robin's yeah. fur was like hers. I was pretty surprised. Easy. She's like, will you help me? Mom won't help me. <laughs> Hi, Myra. Um, but because that happened um, with Myra, with the birth fluids, I just wanted to let you know so that while Dad and I are gone to the bank, you can just keep an eye on her. If she starts having puppies, let us know. I don't think she, she will either. She doesn't have like all the milk in yet that they usually have in before labor. Remember when um, we weren't sure if um, mom had another puppy or not, but we had to go to the gas station because we didn't know who it was. But, um, was it a while ago? It wasn't a while ago. It was like. One of the last few litters we've had. Hmm. I think it was the most recent one. Who was the I do not remember. It was. Wait, are all of our moms on in here? They should be all be in here. I swear we have more moms than us. We have nine girls and then the new girls. So when we're considering moms, I think we have six active moms because Paris, Vienna, and Mocha are not moms. So we have six active moms. <laughs> six active moms and five inactive moms. Did you see Daisy? No, I did not. I just felt her, you stinker. She, she um, jumped up on you and she she felt like she was about to nip at your sleeve to get your attention, but she <laughs> held herself back. Oh, good girl, Daisy. And she jumped down. Uh, and Myra is wanting to know, she wants to know why she's not back in the princess pregnancy suite. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy's trying. Daisy wants this one. They know that Bella's got food in there right now. Hello. That takes a lot of work and you're in a state such as yours. Yeah. You're a good girl. I'm actually going to microphone here and I'm actually gonna swap across and stand since I'm not sure. Where is the fur like that? Do you want to see?
Oh, and just so everybody knows, I don't think I said this already, but um, we're still doing the fundraiser. Um, we brought the um, the merch fundraiser is at like seven hundred and twenty-five dollars, I think, and then um, ad revenue. Um, I look real quick. It's like two hundred five. Really good. Yeah, 20531 for ad revenue for March. And then for fourth wall, 723.90. So that's awesome because that brings us to 928. So we're almost to a thousand dollars. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for your help. So again, if you are going to work um, and you don't mind letting your computer run, we've got the aggressive ads running. It's a really easy free way to help Amelia and her family um, like the live stream. I never ask anybody to like because I think it's so tacky. And um, But on this live stream, no, I'm going to ask. Um, please like it if you haven't already. Um, um, a mod from another doggy YouTube channel um, stopped by and said that um, when the live stream is liked, um, mid live when like when it's still live, um, it helps it when it spits out onto the algorithm as a replay. Um, and so if you haven't liked it yet, please give it a like. Um, what else? Um, anything else? Um, but yeah, if you just let it run, um, let the ads run, it helps out a lot. It, we've um, are the normal. Um, Ad rate, like ad, the rate that of ad revenue generated is usually between two and four dollars per one thousand views, um, and you guys have brought it up to it ranges between twelve and fifteen dollars now. So um, please just keep doing what you're doing. It's so helpful, and it's all going to the Atkins family to help with um, Amelia's bills because we want them to be able to do everything that they possibly can. We don't want um, finances to be the reason they have to say no to a treatment that could possibly save her life. So, um, that's why we're doing this. That's why, um, we're just sending all of our revenue to them. Um, cause you know, we're create, we're, we're live streaming and, um, a lot of the content in the live stream is about Amelia. So, um, the revenue generated only makes sense to give to them. Um, so Again, we appreciate everybody's time. We appreciate you clicking and spending your your um, break with us or your morning or afternoon. Um, what Drew and I were going to start doing is we're going to start, when the live stream ends, we're going to start taking that very beginning, that first like 45 minutes where we're sitting down and updating and talking about like what's going on. We're going to start um, cropping that and putting it as its own video without the rest of the stream. So that that way it'll be published as a video, um, but just the beginning part and then it'll just cut, it'll just end when um, it continues on into just like the stream of the dogs. So um, we're also gonna start doing that. Um, and so kind of stay tuned for when we make that change. That way you don't have to just like go to the, to the live stream and go all the way to the beginning. Yes, but My TikTok. My TikTok. I hate TikToks. No, my TikTok. Oh, yeah, you can have them. I hate orange TikToks.
Sarah, what are you doing up here? You know how we do where we kind of like lock them up and walking out. We can almost always do those last ones. Peggy's hit her bed. Also hit her bed.
Puppies. We'll start with the easiest. Hogan, come here. Good oh boy. Oh. Hey, Hogan, come on.
Hi there, folks. I'm so sorry that we lost audio. They're not cupcakes. They're not cupcakes, Bella. They're cinnamon rolls. Yep. I'm so sorry that we lost audio. Mom, oh, hold on. We've got a whole bunch of groceries. What's dropping? Her groceries. Don't you want this is like a breakfast cinnamon rolls. I have walking cinnamon rolls. They walk on. I didn't do those ones. Help me, Dad. Everything in. I don't understand, but there's more than those cinnamon rolls. Look at you, sweet puppies. Are you being good? Are you being good? I think I'm done. Okay, so. Oh, I, 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 I,
pour the pan in. Hey, Mom! Then the pressing will be melted, which is kind of warmed up. This is how daddy usually warms it up for you. I usually warm mine up so that it's like melty. Okay, if you want it, you can warm it up more, I'll warm it up some more, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it warmed up good? The rest of the lip. 
I'll eat the, the roll too. Not going to hurt. You need help? There you go. That's a perfect little bait for it. Mm -hmm. But it's easy. Here. What's the sound of your people's little doggy thumb to fucking try to grab it?
I didn't know she was Jealous of it. She was, oh, yeah, she was she was like, Do you know what Megan was? <laughs>
Sure, it was probably full when they filled it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are so cute! Hi, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss puppies so much. You're so cute. You are so cute. You are too. You are too. She's like, oh, is somebody cute? I'm cute. I'm cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You look so much like your sister. You look so much like your sister. Hi, Robin. You're cute, too. Heidi, you are so beautiful. Hi, Paris. Paris, you are like a little legend. We're always trying to replicate you. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you are a little legend. Hi, oh, my sweets. Your fur is so soft. You're going to have big robin fur, aren't you? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, Pom. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, Remy. <laughs> such good doggies. What? There's so many. There's so many definitions on here that I can't think of the right one. Hi, Pom. Pamela Palmerson. Pamela Palmerson. You're such a good girl. Hi, Remy. You're a good girl too. And May, I was actually thinking too, with Hogan being smaller, he's a good uh, boy to pair with Remy to make her puppies a little bit smaller. Oh, yeah. And she has, she struggles with her deliveries when they're so big. <coughs> you know, make those puppies' heads a little smaller, it's easier to push out. Good idea. Yes, Mooney. And they probably make pretty puppies. Yeah. Oh, look, your puppy, your puppy is gorgeous. Look, gorgeous. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh, Steering contest once in a while are good for her. Girls! Oh, it's a moth. Let's try some flying object. They're all trying to get. Hi, Remy Dog. Oh, you're such a good girl. Oh my goodness, Heidi, you really got him pinned. It seems like they slightly changed their formula again. They oh. made the chips a little bit thinner. Not as thin as they were before, but just a little bit thinner. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. What are you doing? Oh, you are so pretty. I need to send pictures to the reader of them. So you can see how great they're doing. Yeah. And how sweet you guys are being to them. Yeah. I bet she was a little nervous. Those the two puppies, the three puppies coming home to pack as well. Oh, oh it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Robin, Robin was eating. Here goes some ice cubes that Robin took from that. No, no, I'm going to forget about it. Oh, she's going to crush. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Oh, 
Oh. Mine's like the crushed ice,
sneak out. Got two squeezers in here. Wait, how did you get through again? You little stinker, look at you. Look at you, you little stinker. Look at you. So you can squeeze through that hole, huh? Okay. No, I don't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the dogs. Um, oh. Got you. So, little uh, Hogan can fit through. Oh, can he? Yeah, that's not surprising.
四个名词。哦，我觉得，哎，好Oh, these are dollars. Why don't you get a syringe? Oh, well, there's one of syringe. That's what I did. And then the other thing I do is I take that lid off, turn it, take the lid off, and then screw the screw tap back on, turn it upside down, let it drain into that tip, and then suck it up. What? Yeah, that, that makes way more sense than what I do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it way too hard. I am making it way too hard. It's too late. I already I'm sure. It's not too late to do the green thing. Um well. Or you just want to finish the job you started. No, no, I'm gonna I'm still gonna use a, a syringe, like you said. Yeah, as long as you take the needle off. It's actually the perfect size. It's just a hair short. But the, actually, the fat bottles are shorter, so. Oh, I see. Oh, so nice. They've got me bananas. Uh, the last time since we were I know, I know. There's some black. Uh, we've got to sort through some of this stuff and. Sort through what? Some of these boxes and bags. These would be good. And we're making dinner and we need to like outside. Yeah. This could be What are you doing over there, Hogan? Why did you go through the gate if you don't want to be over there? Silly Hogan. He's like, how do we get back in? He's like, we're 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 Good boy, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, Hogan. You're a good boy. Yes, you're all good puppies. You're all good puppies. You're all good puppies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Aw. Who's good puppies? Yes, you're all good puppies. You're all good puppies. Moonlight. Ah. Good girl. Here. Look at this. There you go. There you go. Chew on that. Chew on this. Good girl.
What are you doing? Are you chewing on that? Yeah, baby, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming right up. I gotta call the girls. I gotta call the girl dogs in and then I'll come up and we'll get a walk. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, here it is.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Bella, Bella, gentle, sweetie. I'd be gentle with them. They're, Bella, they're trying to sleep right now, baby. They're very tired. I'm Yana. Hi, sweetheart. This is a good doggy, huh? Mm. No, no backflips, Bella. Stop. No backflips right now, Bella. No. Bella, stop then. Go to the bedroom. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for dinner. Bella, I told you I was going to make you some chicken nuggets. I don't want chicken nuggets. Well, then what do you want, Bella? I don't want macaroni. You want macaroni cheese? No, I want macaroni. You want some of the macaroni with bacon in it? No, I will hold him. No, Bella. He is napping. All right, Bella, out. Out of the kitchen. Why? Because yeah. you're being wild and crazy. Something. Something thing. Come on. Bella, go, go, go. Not you. I don't want to leave. Dad?
All right, fella. Go to the bedroom and <laughs> sit down and relax. What? No. What? Don't do that. Do what? Do not do that, folks, Bella. Uh, do you want, what do you, would you eat pizza rolls, Bella? Pizza rolls? Yeah, pizza rolls. No. <sighs> Some of these guys. I can go. I have been really back on one, but whoa! Maybe Josie. Yo, I haven't been in my long in a long time. Whoa! Whoa, Josie. You're really busy. Whoa, whoa! There's only one food left. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, honey bun. Stay over there, okay? Lala? Um, what are you doing? See ya.
What are you doing up there? Come on, Myra.
Hey kids! You want some rice, Elizabeth? No. No. Uh, you want yeah, that's rice. Do you want sour cream? 
Tubs of it at the top right. It's not any good. Um, I don't know. It's been there a while. Not right behind all of those tabs. I need something to walk. Oh, Bella, no, you don't. Wrong. 
Hey, Elizabeth, do you want your drink? Okay. No, it's actually there's a slice in it. Back to the tricks. I don't think you were done. You're a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. When just went poop in the potty tray. It's a joke. No, Hogan. Think about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's got such a perfect little face. Oh my gosh, this is why I moved this thing. This is a hazard. Puppy. Hello, 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 puppy
And when you get to it, you can just um, bite it out with your teeth and then spit that part out. Okay. Bruise. Yeah, that's all it is. It's not like a wormhole. Yeah. Oh, wormhole. Yeah. Wormhole. Wormhole. Ooh, I found one with no marks, but it's a little yellow. Okay, that's okay. That's the that thing. Kind of These apples are really good. Oh, uh, we have some
Hey, mommy. Yep. I think a puppy has uh, loose stools. Oh, I know why. I know why. Why? Um, because she has been sneaking. Oh, this our dog. Uh, our dog. Yeah, yeah, dog food. Oh, I need a picture of that. That's so cute. See my row get in the picture. Not you, Vienna. I was like, I mean, I'm just going to photo bomb it. She's like, I heard we're taking pictures. So <laughs> yeah, she's embarrassed. <laughs> you called me out. You two are so stinking cute. And he's going to be my second dog now. Oh, since she? nobody's nobody's claiming her. Everybody's got a dog now, so now they're going to for seconds. Dad will fight it. Bella says her tummy's hurting now. She's got a whole apple tummy. I know that feeling. Uh, but she wants to eat all the rest of the stuff. Probably wants to settle, yeah. No, I don't want, I don't want the rest. I don't want my snack. You don't want your snack? Yeah. You don't want, the, you don't want your apple? Then you don't want your apple? I'm going to eat a good apple. Oh, yeah, it is. They are the rappers. Oh, you dropped this? No. Oh, it does. Okay, if I go to the I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, right here. Two apples for dad. Don't fist in apples. I forget a drink. I'm really thirsty. Aw, there's a good Myra picture. Some chocolate milk would be awesome right now. I have to show you the Meyer picture I got. She was walking up behind me as I was getting little selfies. Of Do you have her. any solo cups? Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Do you have any solo cups? Uh, yes, go into the. Yeah, no, he's refilling them. <laughs> it's like me, her dad, or mom are the only ones refilling them. Sorry, I haven't been refilling them as much lately. I'm sorry, brother. It gets annoying when someone takes the last cup and doesn't refill it. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree what we're doing with you. Oh, man. Bradley tastes way different than Bella's. Weird. Oh, um, Dad, I'll get a big chocolate milk. Is that yeah. Scissor. Yeah. Syrup. Scissor. Oh, man. Unless you are like, are you Hank Wait. I'll do my full time chocolate milk. What's my full time milk? Full time. This is almost out. So practically none. Yeah, uh, use the rest of that. Yeah, well, I just dumped that into the bigger one because I opened that bigger one. Oh, and that's it, It's got a lot of itself right there. Yeah. A lot of stuff. How much do I pour? Wait, did you already open it? Yeah. What's my pour? I don't even have any. How much do I pour? I'm like, that top one? Yeah. yeah, go to the top one. So much easier. Uh, what? Right. No. I'm going to make it a little easier for the squeeze. Here. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you watch it, like the, the cheese, the difference in, in I believe um, it. flavor and the texture is really weird. Sorry, um, how many spoons or teaspoons should I do? Two heaping tablespoons. I almost threw 
threw the milk in the trash. <laughs> Glad you did. Oh, look at you, happy moon. Good girl moon. Good girl moon, baby. Three big teaspoons. Yeah. Oh, is this a teaspoon? Uh, that's a tablespoon. Two of those. Two of these. Yeah, tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons. So. Lenny, hi. Yeah, just do two tablespoons. So, right, I'm gonna just do that one. well, hold on, hold on. Uh, that side has coffee on it. Oh. And then I get to scoop a little with a normal spoon for myself. Then just eat. Because that's what everybody does. May I have the mixer of magic? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Yeah, I got sour cream on myself. Sour cream. Oh. And I hate sour cream. I literally hate sour cream. It's sour cream. Sour cream is the worst. The worst. How would you have it with tacos? Okay, dogs. Are you hungry? I'm going to wash it off. Hey, Dad. Everybody does this thing where, well, in our family, everybody scoops with a normal spoon of powder into their mouth. Everybody does that. I'm gonna do it. What? Okay, buddy. Oh, this thing's heavy. Why is a cap so big? It's like so big I can hardly, I can't even turn it. That it's so big I can't even turn it. Alright, got it. That was hard. I'm not gonna turn around. That's how much I spread them. Just like. Alright. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry if I call. Um, don't do that much, brother. What? I'm sorry if I call. No, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Wait, where's the microphone? Oh, oh he's chewing on it. Oh. I'm so sorry, you guys, for that little audio of Mocha's mouth. Yeah, we do. I don't know why it fell. Yeah. Oh, 
looked really yummy. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me do that. Uh, You're welcome. That's like the treat you guys get us. Hey, so dad's not going to be here tomorrow or Wednesday. Why? So I need good behavior from you guys. Why? He's flying out to the private why are you fly out when he's flying really hard? So it's a long drive back. Oh, jeez. Oh, bye bye, Dad. I love you. I'm going to say that at 9 30 when I come to get taken. I don't want to go to bed with you at the same time. This tastes like straight up milk. Bradley, well, did you stir it up? Yeah, I stirred it. I stirred it a lot. Yeah, I was like, I was looking for it to taste like pure chocolate or something. That's what chocolate milk is supposed to taste like! Chocolate milk is supposed to taste like pure chocolate. Yeah, it has it in the name, it's chocolate. So it's supposed yeah, to taste like chocolate. chocolate. Ah! Not chocolate. If it was it's supposed to taste like pure chocolate, then it would be called chocolate. No, it'd be called chocolate liquid. Chocolate liquid. Pure chocolate liquid. I said it first, so you're more of a chocolate liquid. Why do you have two of these? Because you guys have to make If it still tastes like milk, I'm done. Now that's chocolate milk right there, my friends. Wait, there's a small piece of milk. No. I need more chocolate. I'm joking. Hey, you're silly, Bob's. Carrots, you're silly. So good. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Moonlight looks so much like Myra. I need to make a new channel. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You want to know why? Yeah, you what? want to know why? It's because whenever I try to post a video, it doesn't really post. It's just touch Harris's head.
Here's Bella. Bella! What you doing down there, goofball? Stop 
looking at that crack. Oh. I can't say. Let me forget about it. <laughs> That would be actually more believable than a crack because it's not really a spot that something would be dropped, yeah. but scratched is a lot more. That's something was under someone's foot, like metal and a gouge. Right. Okay. They will be the last day.
Let's see how long this lasts. No, Robin. Hey, can you grab the other mic? I'm talking to mom, baby. Did she put her remote downstairs last night? She's saying that what happened to you? Oh, does it give you a warning? Starts blinking, going uh, green to red. Yeah, it doesn't like yeah. yeah. And it's not like this has a speaker in there. Yeah, the, the, the 
覚えたら。
And then, so like this morning and then tonight, I wanted to check in. Oh, the girls. And it's so well this morning. I got a lot of video of them, too. They followed everybody around and moving around. So I think I'm Just ate, like, oh my goodness, they love ropes. You see Heidi walking with this rope in here. Can you go potty, Hogan? Go potty? Go poop? Can you go potty? Yeah. Oh, guys, here's a bigger rope. Look at that one. Look at that one. I think they play with that a lot. They're even. I wonder if it was good for after. Oh, 
Oh, you know what we didn't no, get? Anna. Yeah, come back here. You know what yep. we didn't get? What? We didn't get like regular Oreos. Yes. We didn't get like regular two, like no oh, okay. Oreos. You guys are too much. Okay, boys. Well, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get the Alright, there you are. Uh, Eight. What are you chewing on? Gross. What was it? It's brought in a treat.
Oh, it's. I think it says in the thing that like they are separated when you get the bag and like you have to. Oh, what is thermal formation? It's, it is like all. That's awesome. Yeah, it's that uh, normal yeah. So the best way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, the,
I can handle it, yeah. But just it takes a lot of the stress off just knowing that I'm not coming to help. At least somebody else that can relay what's going on. Bouncing off of in the middle of the floor. Oh. Like a lot of blood, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, you know I'm going to be like, hey, don't forget about me.
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> 